Hello everyone, welcome back to the Spice Chronicles kitchen. One of the things I've been wanting to show you guys for a long time is how to cook your own beans and legumes. Because believe me, I'm a personally a firm believer it makes a big difference in flavor. You don't have to deal with the preservatives. And actually the water that the beans are cooked in makes a great vegetarian broth or stock. I often use a stove to a pressure cooker, but for simplicity, I'll be showing you how to do this in the, an electric pressure cooker. I think that's highly recommended for beginners and then you can graduate. So what I have here is black-eyed peas that have been soaking for a few hours. It's actually a very good thing to soak your beans because what it does is it dissolves some of the insoluble sugars that give beans, you know, a reputation for being hard to digest. Black-eyed peas in particular don't take as long to cook as, let's say, chickpeas, so the soaking time too. You can soak it for about an hour, which is what I've done. Rinsed it off, used fresh water, and I'm putting that in. Shake it out, shake a little bit of salt, Next, what we do is put on the lid. Here we go. Close it. I add in the bean chili setting and you let it do its thing. So right here, I've turned off the pot. What I'm waiting for it to do is simmer down. What you want it to do is stop steaming. So at this point, the steam has calmed down and you can open the pot. I still have the simmering, but your beans are all cooked and you can use them, as I said, for anything that you want. Uh, a quick tip, if you want, you can make a large batch. You can actually pop the beans into Ziploc bags and freeze them. 